Hey everybody, it's Matt with remove-malware.com and I want to talk about trust tonight, specifically my web of trust. My web of trust is a free little program that will tell you if a, if a site is uh, dangerous, kind of shady, if it's just unknown, it's too new, or if it's perfectly safe to go into. And it does that by displaying a couple icons. And I'm going to go ahead and give you a demo of what I'm talking about instead of here just talking. So say I want to search for free antivirus. I click Google search. Well, I see a whole bunch of advertisement from AdWords over here. And then I also see some legitimate results down here. But how do I know if avg.anti-virus-solution.com is really antivirus 2009 free you know how do I know if these are safe links how do I know um, if they're just you know legitimate sites even these sites right here how do I know if this is real my web of trust can help you with that so if I go to my wot.com Um, you can see my screen's a little smashed together because I'm using a low resolution right now, but um, you can see Web of Trust, and you can actually download it. I also wanted to tell you, I had a lot of questions when I was looking at Web of Trust, because I uh, used to use McAfee's Site Advisor until it just wouldn't work in my um, Firefox one day, and I just didn't have time to fix it, so I just started using this. Um, but they have a really nice... Um, frequently asked questions section down here under support and I suggest you read it. So let's go ahead and install it and I'll come back to this in a second because it kind of lays it all out for us. We're going to install the IE add-on because that's what I'm using right now. It's a real small download, just one megabyte. Okay, it says it finished successfully, so let's go ahead and restart our browser real quick. I'm sure I need to, uh, but I want to show you, once you install it, it says Welcome to Web of Trust, so it brings up a page automatically and kind of explains it to you. You can also register to be a Web of Trust member, which is free, and you can rate, rate sites. So if I go ahead and open up Internet Explorer, I'm not sure I even needed to restart because I think it was already right there. Uh, if I do a search for free antivirus, now we can clearly see which sites are sort of dangerous and which ones are fine. I see some greens. Notice how it rates every single link. And I see some reds. Here's a red one right here. Also, another red one up here. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about these little characters that you see here. Um, the more of these little figures that are shaded, uh, the more people have voted that this is um, an unsafe site. And um, it also can indicate that somebody with uh, a lot of uh, high regard f for Web of Trust or, or Web of Trust really trust them they may have voted a couple times and it just kind of bumps this uh, rating up. I know that's kind of confusing, but it's just the more votes that this site gets that, that says it's bad, um, the more of these you'll see and you'll really know. Like this one down here, um, it's only got one little person that's shaded and you may have had a few people say, hey, this site's bad. And it just hasn't kind of gone up enough um, to really, really say that this is definitely a horrible site. Don't go to it. But it's still something I wouldn't go to. I mean, it's, I just wouldn't. Uh, top 10 antivirus software. If I look at this and I click this red little link, it'll tell me why is this um, so bad. So it's going to bring up their little Web of Trust scorecard. And it 
it's um, looks like people have found it to be uh, fraud, scam, phishing, malicious contents, and viruses. And then we can look at uh, pe what what people have to say. The site is solely trying to get you to buy the first item. The site is a bogus review site. Let me tell you, people, I know quite a bit about internet marketing because I do it as a hobby. Be careful on the review sites that you go to because there are thousands and thousands of review sites that are just trying to sell you one product so that they can make a commission on it. So any of these review sites I would be extremely skeptic skeptical of. So yeah, but you take a look at all these comments, you can see that, you know, hey, they're really trying to sell something that's just not not good. Some bogus software, some some software that may be okay, but it doesn't do anything for you and you just wasted your money. So that's what Web of Trust can do for you. It can give you a warning before you actually waste your time or hurt your computer. If I accidentally click this link, Web of Trust says warning. Don't go to the site. You can if you want. If you really want to go to it, you can. Or you can just, um, you can probably go to a different site or just close your browser, you know, if it kind of shocked you. You weren't paying attention or something. So, um, you can do a search for just for anything, for like a free, free games. I mean, that's a huge search. Well, right away, right away I can see which games are legit. I know Pogo is legit because that's all my neighbor does. So, um, yeah, lots and lots of people voted that this is a legit site. FreeRideGames.com is not a legit site. Let's see why. Malicious content viruses, spyware, or adware. I got a virus in there. The site was loaded with adware. Uh, recently bookmarked and delicious. Recently said it submitted to dig. I've had problems with the games. So, so, so there you go. Um, let's do a search for for remove malware. That's a common term. Hopefully someday. Oh. There's remove-malware.com. That's my site. Big, nice green bar. Lots of people voted for me. Thank you very much. So anyway, I hope that um, this this helps the web of trust people out. They've helped me out, so I just kind of wanted to give back. And uh, also, before I close up here, um, these sites right here with a little circle and a question mark, I would really be leery of these because sites go up um, you know, every minute. So wait till it gets raided by somebody before you go into it. Be a little little cautious, you know. So anyway, again, I'd like to say thanks to the web of trust people, and um, I hope that you guys uh, use this little utility. It can really prevent uh, you and your family from going to the wrong sites, and it's all free. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later. I was going to do a long review tonight, but I can uh, I can tell that. I don't have enough time, so I'll have to wait till tomorrow night. See everyone tomorrow. Bye.